Runway's Gen 3 Alpha is a powerful text-to-video AI model that lets you generate any scene that you can imagine just by typing it. Using it feels like being in everything, everywhere, all at once, in which you can explore just about anything from the mundane and generic to quirky and absolutely insane. It's a lot of fun, and at the moment, it's not free, so I went ahead and bought a month of it so that you guys can see an unfiltered, not cherry-picked experience of what using it is actually like. We're gonna go through some generations, test out the limits, and also dive into the tips and tricks. That way, you guys can make an informed decision as to whether or not not, this is going to be a useful tool or another fun thing just to mess around with. Anyways, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Runway's Gen 3 just came out and we're gonna be test diving it right now. This is what it's gonna look like in Gen 3 Alpha, as you can see their next generation model. And by default, we get a blank area in which we can describe our shot. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out some of these prompts. For this prompt, I'm gonna take one that we've actually gotten from Mid Journey before. That way we can compare the results with some of the Mid Journey images that were generated. So here I'm gonna type in a cinematic shot of a futuristic movie set with crew building a lush jungle made of neon plants with a computer desk and monitor and portal and blah, blah, blah. Honestly, it goes on and on. You can see it here. We're gonna leave this at all of the default settings, which is 10 seconds, but we can have it shorter at five seconds, which will use less credits. Now I will speed up this part of the video while it is generating, but so far it's looking like it's only gonna take a few minutes to come up with a finalized generated scene. Okay, so we now have the finalized result from this AI. Let's take a look. I'm gonna hit play right here. And so far this looks pretty crazy. Now I will say I gave it a very lengthy prompt, so I was not expecting the best result, but I do get the actual portal to another world with, it's not really a full lush jungle, but it does have these neon glowing plants. And then it does have this futuristic city with clouds in the background. I, I gotta say, this is pretty impressive. I'm gonna rate this a four out of five stars, just because it didn't really match the entire prompt all the way. Other than that, I, I think it looks stunning. So let's go ahead and test this out with another prompt as well. Okay, so here we have an action tracking shot of a man on the moon running away from explosions in low gravity with flying debris and rock particles. Let's go ahead, leave this at 10 seconds and hit generate. So one thing I want you to take a note of as well is that we have additional settings here, but these aren't really gonna help us that much. For the most part, it's either just gonna let us change if it's a fixed seed or if we remove the watermark, in which I have no scenario in which you would wanna leave the watermark on. So if you've paid for this, you definitely wanna have that setting turned on. We also have this resolution option here, which is not really so much as an option as just letting us know that the final renders are coming out in 720p. So this is not anything 4K or anything super up res. And instead we'll probably need to run this through another model in order to up res to something like a higher resolution of 1080p or even 4K. And then the last one here is probably gonna be the most useful, which is the custom presets. It just lets you set some sort of prompts that are already implemented. So if you have a really great prompt or have elements of a prompt that you wanna keep inside of the multiple generations that you make, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you put this into the custom preset setting and then click create here. So this is finished generating. Let's take a look at what it's created. And I gotta say, this is not looking good at all. This is actually looking kind of like Pika Labs at the moment. We do have a man, kind of whatever, if you wanna say this, running on what looks like a moon. There are particles and explosions. That's probably the only aspect that's gotten right. But other than that, this looks very ugly. I'm gonna say the render quality um, and also improper anatomy warping. Yeah, it just looks overall very bad. So I gotta say, maybe this is a one out of five stars here because this does not look that good. Okay, so here we have a pretty short prompt. It's gonna be a hyperlapse shot of the pyramids in the future. Let's go ahead and hit generate and see what it creates. Wow, I gotta say, this is very impressive. Holy crap. Yo, 
Okay, this has got to be one of the sickest generations I've seen. I love the detail. It actually does communicate a bit of a hyperlapse because we do see it go from what looks like probably dawn all the way to sunset and the lights. And it is a futuristic pyramid scene. This is super impressive. I'm blown away. I'm giving this one a five out of five stars. Okay, this has got me super excited. Let's go ahead and keep testing out to see what this AI can do. Okay, so if we actually have a text prompt here in this area and you notice this little button down here that says save, we can actually save a brand new preset Give it a title like hyperlapse and now whenever we want to quickly add in something and start a brand new generation all we have to do is click this little button here that says hyperlapse and we see it gets inputted into the prompt area that way if you're working with really lengthy prompts or have a prompt that you really love you can actually save it re-input it and do some variations off of that same one so for example i really loved how this hyperlapse shot of the pyramids came out let's see if it was set with another famous landmark such as of New York City in the future. And I'm going to go ahead and click generate and let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so here is what it has generated. And again, I got to say this one looks pretty impressive. It's not as detailed or as dynamic. Oh, there it goes. It just kind of fades into something else. Yeah, not as fluid as the generation before, but nonetheless, it is still pretty impressive for this one. I got to give it a three out of five stars. Okay, so we're going back to mid journey for more inspirations for the prompts just because it'll actually give us a little test and to seeing what possibly the AI might come up with from an image standpoint and possibly composition. Even though these aren't moving images yet, it should serve as a pretty good basis. So I'm going to take this prompt here because I love this scene. It's a cinematic shot of a futuristic cyberpunk ocean city. And let's plug this into Gen 3 Alpha. I'm going to go ahead and click generate and let's see what it comes up with. OK, this is a pretty interesting generation. It does have the futuristic cyberpunk ocean city aspect. And there are some birds flying. They look like holographic birds and holographic sea life. I got to say this one did take it more seriously with the futuristic aspect than the mid journey version did. But nonetheless, this is very impressive. I'm going to give this one a solid five out of five stars as well. So as you can see, Gen 3 Alpha is very capable at generating these scenes. But let's try something a little bit more realistic. So I want to have a woman walking through a grass field during sunset. So literally the most generic stock footage video that you could possibly find, I'm sure. Let's see if Gen 3 Alpha is going to generate something that is still looking impressive and not like it just ripped from Shutterstock directly. OK, and here we have what Gen 3 Alpha generated, a woman walking through a grass field during sunset. And already this looks pretty impressive. We have a woman in the grass field, sunset, a nice lens flare as well happening. Some pretty interesting physicality with the light. Now, I will notice that a little bit of the walk looks like there is a slight warping, but other than that, it happens for such a brief moment that I think most of the shot is usable. So I'm going to give this a five out of five stars as well. And then next we have another realistic example. So we're going to go with a man walking through the rain. So this is not a detailed prompt at all. Let's see what it generates. And it looks like we have an Indian man wearing all black walking in the rain during what looks like uh, quite a heavy pour. And so far, not too much of the water is interacting with his clothes in a realistic way. In fact, it looks like he almost becomes part of the water for a split second. And this is definitely hitting him way too hard. It's almost like these are golf balls hitting him here. So the physics on this is definitely off. Maybe a bit of the first three seconds are usable. And then beyond that, it is looking a little bit more like a surrealist. So I got to give this one a three out of five stars, especially for the warping and morphing. So as you can see, it looks like Gen 3 Alpha can handle realistic scenes relatively well, though you might not be able to use the full 10 seconds of your generation. Now, if this has gotten you excited to playing around with this, I highly recommend that you also check out our video on Pico Labs. In comparison to Pico Labs, which is another AI video generation platform that we've messed with in the past, I gotta say Gen 3 Alpha takes the cake and is a clear winner because these generations come out looking so much better than anything Pico Labs has come out with in the last few months. Now, whether or not they remain the winner will be seen 
But at the moment, Gen 3 Alpha gets a big fat black mixture stamp of approval. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, I'm sure you guys are gonna wanna check out this other video in which we talk about WebSim AI. It's an awesome AI that lets you generate apps and websites completely on the fly using prompts and images. It is mind blowing some of the stuff that people have created and we dive into it all in that video. Make sure you go ahead and check it out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one. All right, peace.